Hello, Governor. Hello, boss. There were times in my life when somebody called me governor. And I always felt like they were fucking with me. You gonna put me in charge? What? Just to watch me fall? You mother. Hello. When I read the book, Three Negro Classics, that I got out of a library burn batch, when they said, you can take whatever you want, we're throwing it all in the dumpster. It's free. I saw three Negro classics, and I said, I must read this, and I took it, and it speaks of Booker T. Washington, it speaks of his stories, it speaks of uh, some Johnson fella and some other guy, and they speak of what it was to be a young black man in these United States. And it speaks of how after, after the Civil War, there were black men put into place in the South. Men that did not know how this government we have is supposed to work. They threw them in there to let them fail so they could make them look bad. Herschel Walker. Do I say the word now? The name? You call on him and he will be there. If you know his name, he will do your bidding. This is magic. And here we are in the future and we have people trying to make a, a black man realize this he's not just a black man he's a black man just any man with fucking brain injuries and you're going to put him in charge? Why would you put somebody in charge of our government? Why would you support that? Anybody with a brain injury unless you want to make his people look stupid. Herschel Walker is mentally defective. And you're gonna call him governor? You're gonna call him a man of the state, a senate leader? Why? Oh, here it is. If you wanna talk about racism, all you have to do is put someone in charge of a different color and watch him fuck everything up. This is why they support Herschel Walker in Georgia. Because uh, they still see him as a representative of slavery. They still see him as a representative of that which we cannot abide. They make him this. They want him to fail. They support his failure so they can once again start calling us government.